What's up everyone, my name is Nord and this is my most recent uh, world record and PB run, of course, of uh, Outlaws, any percent. I recently went back to this game and this is uh, second world record pace run. I did have one earlier today that sadly died uh, right on the last boss, so that was pretty unfortunate. So um, in this game... You will see me looking at walls quite a lot. I will basically almost never look in the direction in which I'm going. The reason for this is because uh, at the in the middle of the screen at the bottom you have a stamina meter, and when this one when, uh, when it gets close to half of 50 ish percent, about 52 if you need to be picky about it, you will hear the main character uh, to. You will hear him start breathing heavily, which is why I have that meme on the screen. You will hear that quite a lot throughout the run. So to um, maximize uh, the speed at which I move and the uh, stamina which I drain, to drain as little as possible, what I'm doing is I'm holding forward and either left uh, or right. And this means that um, I will move pretty quickly without draining all the stamina. Basically the, the least amount of stamina I can drain while still moving quickly. And um, you already finished Slim's hideout, you probably noticed something on the boss fight. That um, for some reason um, punching people in this game is really, is really good. And uh, you can punch bosses to death, which is what I did on the first, first level. But here I'm really unlucky, this guy decided to go downstairs. Um, now this engine was only uh, used in two two games. And uh, thank god for that, because what's going on, like this is even the manual if you look at Outlaws. Uh, in the manual uh, uh, there's like a Q&A thing I think. And uh, it will tell you that if you're standing on a different elevation than the uh, enemy you're trying to hit, you will miss depending on the elevation and how close the enemy is. So the closer he is, and the harder it will be to hit him, or most of the time completely impossible. So this is the second level. This level is pretty um, strange right here. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on in this game. First of all, like enemies can move in any way they want. Uh, they have static spawns, but they just move randomly. This guy didn't want to die. This guy can be behind the door. Like they can like be in different positions than what they normally should be in, and uh, that can be like really. It can just throw me off. This guy here is like right behind me. I know as soon as I enter that, and he's not on the left, he's right. So on this level, each level we have a boss fight, and on this one, this one is just weird because on the first, uh, the first level, Slim Tadao. The boss is uh, he's already spawned, right? So you just have to open doors and all that to get to him and then kill him. The problem is on Sanctuary, you need to kill a certain amount of guys to force the boss to spawn. So what I'm doing is I'm using the obviously the most optimized route to kill only the amount necessary. Makes sense. But this does not always guarantee a boss spawn so there's something fishy with this boss so what i'm doing here is um normally i have to um, get a key to get up to these rooms or open them so instead of opening them i'm actually abusing the game's well, weird physics i guess you could call it and i'm shooting these guys and you can see like that yeah, boss is spawn now i can easily get golden sanctuary but the thing is it's pretty random. Like, if the boss spawns immediately, I'll get gold. Easy as that. Uh, so this is a train. This is where I, f I do the first dynamite boost. Uh, so I almost died here. I have one health, and the guys that I'm skipping can hit me and dead. And right at the end, you have to okay. use the door at the uh, lost uh, car right there. And. Uh, it can actually be way harder than it looks, or it is way harder than it looks to us. But that is uh, one of the uh, 
segmented strats in the game that we use. Now, we're five minutes into the run. We are on River Basin, Basin, whatever you want to call it. And um, we're gonna do something I call zipping here. If you have water and you have a platform that you want to reach, you can abuse the water physics in this game. You'll see this here by this waterfall. So I zipped up. Uh, I'm not sure why this happens, but it's got something to do with um, something to do with like you hitting, like swimming, hitting the bottom, and then exiting the water. Um, that somehow gives you a weird boost. So you'll see that in, later on in the run. So right here, I'm just waiting for my stamina and I'll pick up the sheriff's badge. I am running this on retail. This is the retail that was released in 1997. So in this version, we have the all the infinite shares badge or infinite badge glitch, which is basically it's real easy. Like you pick up a badge, shares badge, like the one I have now. You save the game, you load that save, and you, the badge never will fall off throughout the game, even between. Uh, in different levels. It is obviously banned in this category. So. Okay, I'm gonna do another dynamite boost here, and for those of you who have been paying attention, I still only have one dynamite. I only had one dynamite because I'm using a glitch here that allows me to use the dynamite and drop the dynamite in such a way that um, it will use the dynamite, but it will not use the dynamite. It's not really, I don't know if it's a kind of dupe, but it will throw the dynamite on the floor, but I still have an main tour. Don't kill me. Oh my god, no health. I'm gonna die here, probably. It's right Game here. Uh, this guy can one-shot me, pretty much, and Jesus. took him forever to, to kill him. If it happens. Now, this is, um, saved a lot of time on that one. So this is Sawmill. Hope you enjoy the music, by the way. You know, gotta have that awesome music in the background. Um, Sawmill, yes. If you play this game, you know this map, uh, this level. This level is shit. It is complete crap. And I can't believe they kept this level. It's horrible. You'll see why. If you haven't played this game or played this level, if you're confused by now, I'm not gonna blame you, because this map or level is really, really confusing. So what you gotta do on this level is open all these floodgates, all the floodgates, to open new paths, and then it will open a new... the last path to the boss. The boss is already spawned, it's like one of those levels where he already spawns. And, uh... You just have to open all these, pretty much. And grab keys and all that stuff. It's a huge maze. Speaking of bosses, uh, on the train where we did the first dynamite boost, we skipped the uh, skipped the boss. I don't know if you thought about that, but we actually skipped him because, I mean, normally the trigger to load the next level in this game comes from you killing a boss, but not on the train. The train you just have to get to like the double doors at the end of the cart, which is why we do the dynamite boost. Drop down open the door and that triggers the level change. Ah, oh, I got stuck. Okay, this engine is pretty finicky, so I got stuck in the ceiling right there. Just something that happens. I'm gonna come up to a puzzle, a pretty big puzzle in this level. And this is the water puzzle. This water will push you all the way down, so the idea here is to Oh yeah, this, this switch. The idea is to take one path, pick up uh, the gear, you need several pieces of these, and when you pick the gear up, or all of them, or when you pick one of them up, you go. it will push you to an end, and you have to go back up and then down. Now I'm skipping all that, because I can. So I'm going all the way up, you're not supposed to do this, so I'm just going back up to where I started. And this cord is pretty finicky. If I manage to get it, there we go. And I'm gonna get my second piece. Next room.
And we go back, switch this again. And I'm gonna go get the last piece. So in this game you have different fire modes. Um, you have a normal fire mode, but I pretty much always use quick fire. Even for punching. It's just really, really effective. So We're gonna call the elevator here. We need to go back up. I select the first piece, the first gear item. And uh, you probably recognize this room. This is where we entered. We can go into this room instead. Use all the gears. This will open a um, and this here on the left side. This is normally closed. But well, we need all the gears. This is still the same level, by the way. Sawmill is ridiculous. We're not done yet. We have to go up, swim, go into this vent where we can stand up because why not? And we're still not done. We have to go into this hidden room that is now open because reasons. And we're back in this same room again. Where we just were. And now we open the last path. Just turn this and now go kill the boss. Now I am running this on Windows 7 64 bit. It's working perfectly well. Sometimes between level changes and stuff, you will see my uh, a desktop because I'm forcing this game into window mode. There is no way to capture it otherwise. So oh, that's a good that's fine. fine. Oh shit. Now, this is the fort. This is like the shortest level. I'm gonna use this door here as a platform. Uh, which means I can go grab the last key right away. And I just skipped like four keys and a lot of dudes I have to kill. Easy. So we're getting closer to the end now. We are on the iron mine. The iron mine has got the the last dynamite boost, and during dynamite boosts, you can see me punch. And if you haven't figured it out yet, I am punching because that is my way of timing this. I need to time this perfectly, or I will either get killed or not get enough height or speed. These are all segmented strats, all the boosts, and this skips like 90% of this level. That was a bad position, but I still got it. Like, that was like way too far back. I'm gonna do another skip coming up here, that can kill me. I could add a big medical bag. Uh, no damage from all damage glitch, whatever. So, the YOLO leap I did right there, if you land perfectly, you take no damage from that. Wow. Half a second gold. <laughs> okay. So, we're on the cliffs, the second to last level. The cliffs is a level that could be more broken, but it just can't at this point because this is one of those levels where you need to kill a certain amount of uh, bad guys to spawn the boss. Now the boss spawns up on the cliff, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna kill a lot of dudes, and I am doing this puzzle here. Reason? Because okay, so I have a clip, um, not a clip. I have a zip up to a platform over here. I start with. But I'm not gonna do it because it's not really reliable. I'd rather do the puzzle. Let's do that one. Like go the normal way instead. Right here, I have no ammo. It's really strange. Very odd thing. So we're now up on the opposite side. So what you normally do is go grab some um, stone keys. I think they're called keys in level. They, they look like tablets. And uh, you have to use the. There are four of them, but you don't need all four. 
to open the secret door, which then leads to the underground, which leads to more underground, which then leads to like the cliff where you have to go to kill the boss. Now we're not gonna gather any tablets. We don't have to do any of that. So all I'm doing here, is, you can see the tablet right there on the ground. Campfire, I'm not gonna grab it. Um, all I'm doing here is I'm killing dudes. Like I said, you need a certain amount of dudes. You need to kill some a certain amount of dudes to spawn a boss in this level. I'm making sure that I pick as many as I can off in the most convenient locations. Now this, I know it's it's not really that convenient, but I have to kill them anyway. Sometimes they will die. It's really annoying. Here. And I believe I have one more campfire left. Yeah, one more. So this game is really sensitive to um, frame rates, CPU. It's like it's really it's just strange. Like if you run this game on Windows 7 64 and it runs without any issues, then uh, gonna be perfectly fine you know it's gonna run okay right here we got a zip yeah like this is like similar to river basin or basin where you just abuse the water physics to zip upstairs picking around for enemies gonna run around and kill a lot of dudes here so I've tried this game on Windows 7 64 bit I also tried it on a virtual machine running XP 32 bit now there's a huge difference between these. Like, if I run on the virtual machine, the game runs at a different speed. And this means, or I found out that this means that, um, number one, I have no ammo here. Would be useful. Uh, number one, uh, the amount of stamina that is drained per second changes. So you have more stamina use. The second thing that changes, which is like ridiculous, is the timing of every single dynamite change. So right now I have a very strict timing and um, that one will be about at least one second off if I run a machine. So right here, I this is really weird, but like you can get far enough away from the boss here. So he just spawned. I might have spawned, never mind. There's like no distance to it, which is that was somehow gold. And the sure how. second one okay. record run today is bad or ruined. So I killed this guy. This is the last level. I killed this guy because I want the pistol, and um, we're gonna have to go get the key so we can go get the crow. Now I have I have an idea of the boss of sanctuary, but I also have an idea of possible clipping. Not really through doors, but like through yeah, between doors and walls, like the springs. Um, English is hard today. I have no bullets here. Luckily, there's one pick up here. Sometimes they do drop bullets, but not this time. So we're just gonna. This is like the normal path you take on this level. So yeah, go fast. But right here you want to go right. You need to go upstairs and get a key. So, like, for example, on Slim's hideout, the first level, there's a... In theory, you could complete Slim's hideout in about... 30 seconds or so. But, and this is because you can get to the... Um, get to the house that he's in in a way that you're not, you're not supposed to but you can't enter that's the thing like if there's any type of clipping or yeah, any sorts that would speed things up then I believe this run could be probably close to 15 minutes so we're almost done we're gonna go into the cellar now there are two big threats left You'll see what I mean when 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 enemies don't want to die. Okay, but this guy in the blue uh, 
jacket or whatever. He's got yeah, dual like shotguns on him. He's dual wielding them and shit. What is even going on here? He's not supposed Dude. to take these many bullets. Are you he's serious? Take, he's taking way too many bullets. So I lost, actually lost quite a bit of time right there because of that guy. He, he should, like he took like almost four times the amount of bullets he should take. Here's the last boss, he can easily kill me and he didn't so yay. And I have disabled cutscenes, that's why that happens. Yeah, that's outlaws, any percent. And uh, next goal is sub 20. That guy in the blue, that blue dude with dual wielding shotguns. He took like 30 bullets, I swear. Jesus.